So the New King Legacy update trailer specifically is out for the game. I've not seen the trailer yet. So the last update we got in this game, I want to say was three months ago. The last update we got in the game was, it was decent. I think we, we had an awakening. We had two new fruits. It's a game I haven't covered on the channel in a while because, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to covering it, but I guess it'll depend on what I think of the update. I'm going to react to this, of course, and we're going to see what's going on. Definitely a new island. Is that a new island? Yeah, it is a new... No, that's not a new island. That's first C. They probably have some map reworks planned. Maybe. I don't know. New Awakened Fruits. I like to see that. New island. Okay, new sword. All right, pretty standard stuff. Oh, okay, dude. <laughs> okay, we finally have a rubber rework. Thank gosh. This, a rubber is one of the most outdated fruits in this game. It's so outdated, it's not even funny. But take a look at it. That was a flight. That's pretty new, especially for rubber. They actually, I'm, I'm glad they're taking, they're trying to take a creative approach to this because it's just... How do I put this? It's not copying Blocks Fruit. It's copying the anime. But Blocks Fruit was kind of one of the first One Piece games on Roblox. So when people see that, they think Blocks Fruit. It's like people calling um, the Ope Ope Fruit Control in other games. When it, in, in Blocks Fruit, it was called Control. And then in other games, you'll so, see people also calling it Control. Which is funny because that's the name of, that's the, name of the of the operation fruit and blocks fruits and now everyone calls it control it's funny new transformation yep red hawk that looks pretty good the visuals on that look kind of the same like this it, this kind of looks the same it was before just way better and probably more quicker i don't think the footage is being sped up no it isn't it looks pretty good i don't know it's probably a rework not an awakening snow oh i didn't ex an awakening for snow i didn't expect that that thing has some shoot that has some crazy aoe and then kind of what that kind of comes back to you like a boomerang spins in one spot and then comes back i'm assuming it hits anyone else on its way back this thing has a lot of aoe potential on it <laughs> raining snow boulders okay uh, uh okay well, it looks like we're getting a doe awakening it's not a real that's a doe awakening I didn't really react there because that, that kind of threw me off a little bit. It's just, as soon as I thought, saw that, I was just, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, it looks like Blocks Roots. Now, what I mean by it looks like Blocks Roots, I don't mean the moves because it's based off the anime. It looks like Blocks Roots from the artistic side, the design, these, uh, these car these thick cartoonish outlines this is something that i've seen in blocks roots uh it's just the design when i i associate these thick cartoony outlines i think of blocks roots when i see this it, it looks good for dough but i'm just saying like it's th this is a very sp specific design choice even down to the fists the fists even kind of have the same shape it has that rectangular end and then with the fist on it it's, it looks extremely similar almost down to the modeling it looks almost exactly the same yes the moves are based off of the anime but the design and the artistic like choices these look like blocks roots this is this is new this is original this here i actually really like this that that that's an original attack that this is that's what i want to see i want to see fruits that kind of have some original moves that this is an original move that looks pretty good Of course, you know, an AoE attack. I mean, this is, you know, you got to have an AoE attack for dough. That one, this move here, it really. All right, let's just remove block suits out of this and just let's just watch it. It looks good. Yep. And let me guess it adjusts to your, it, it adjusts to your hockey color is the it adjusts to your hockey color again. It makes sense for it to adjust to your hockey color. I think it's cool. It makes sense. But I will say. It is something, it is an idea that you know, originally came from Blocks Roots. But the, I think the idea of Doe changing your hockey color, I think should be in all games that have Doe. I think it just makes perfect sense. So, you know, that's fine. Yep. I mean, of, I mean, 
You gotta have this moving dough. You have to. It's a requirement. Of course, good for traversal. This is from the anime. It's from the anime. You cannot have you like you have to have it. It's it's cool. Oh no. Everything up to this point for this dough thing, it it's excusable. Except for like some of the design choices and some of the artistic choices, it looks a lot like block shoots if we're talking from the design and like art perspective. But this move here, I know a lot of people uh make like the argument that oh this this comes from the anime, this comes from the anime, this comes from an anime. This move did not come from the anime. This uh, not this one, this one. This move did not come from the anime. That you see this. The punch, which leads into a punch that takes you to the sky, and then a fist at the top that punches you back down to the floor. Um, this is in what move was it? This was in the X move of Dovi Two and Blocks Roots. Uh, the Pastry River move. It. This is a move that did not appear in the anime whatsoever. This was never in the anime. Yeah, this was not in the anime. This is a move that Blocks Roots improvised and put into their X attack. It's a blatant copy. This is the only one that is, I'd say, is an actual blatant copy. They're the ones I can excuse, but that one is straight up. But um, this looks great. This looks great. This looks way better than their other dough. I don't know if this is the Awakening or not, but this looks way better than what they had before. A Blood Moon. That's interesting. Wait, was that actually a Blood Moon or was just that? Okay, I think it was a Blood Moon. I thought it was editing, but maybe not. Okay, so far it looks like they kind of have their own take on it. The red and green. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. As soon as I saw the dark red palette, I kind of already saw the, yeah. I'm sorry I keep comparing it to Blocks Roots, but it's just like, if I play something and... If I play something and I kind of already experience it... And then you show me another version of it from another from another game. It's hard to get hyped over it because I've kind of seen it before. Just saying. No, the the moves are different. So, all right, that looks like it's a dash with some swings. All right, that's original. And oh shoot, wait, what was that? That was another move. Some initial slashes, a dash, and then a huge slash at the end. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Hold on a moment. Is that it's AoE? Wait, that's kind of nuts. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Let me read the moves. Flexible punch. Oh, wait a minute. This is on a uh, this is a this is a rework of the unawakened dough. This is not the one we saw earlier. This is the unawakened dough rework. And then what we saw here, this is V2. V2 and rework, wherever that is. Rework. This is the rework of V1. Looks like it, yeah. I'm glad we're getting an awakening and a rework of V1. I will say that's pretty good. Cause Block Shoots at the moment, Block Shoots still has not reworked uh still not reworked Doe V1. King Legacy looks like it's just it do it's reworking V1 Doe and releasing V2 in the same update, which that's actually really good. And the moves say the same thing here. There's no way it's another in another rework or is in an awakening? I'm confused. I don't know. Okay, puzzle. Is that a race or an accessory? I didn't say anything about... I can't tell if that's a race or an accessory. It's probably an upgrade for the... What? I'm sorry, what? Race sea, be sea beast. It doesn't say fishman. Looks like a new race, but... Is this... This is the scroll system. This is the scroll system from Blocks Roots. It's, it's literally the scroll system. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Before I get on them, before I get on them, this doesn't look like an enchantment system for weapons. This isn't it. This looks like an enchantment system for the player in general. Because this is on the stat screen, and then it shows the race at the top. And then it, it looks like King Legacy is taking a different approach to this than Blocks Roots did. Blocks Roots is introducing this system for the swords and guns. It looks like King Legacy is trying to implement this system, just affecting the player overall. I, I think this is actually a way better way 
uh, to do it than Blocks Roots did it for sure. Because in Blocks Roots, you would have to sit there and what re roll, open up how many scrolls for each different weapon. Like you open up like 10 scrolls. Let's say you open up 10 scrolls, you open up 10 mythical scrolls to try to get enchantment on one weapon, and you still have like 50 other weapons in the game that you want to enchant as well. That is so much money you got to put in and so much grinding that you got to put in just to do that. And King Legacy just has it to where you can just get one and that'll apply automatically on through everything you have. This is a way better system than Blocks Root. The way they implemented it here, th this is perfect. I mean, if this is going to be like just applied across the board in general for your character, this is perfect. This is how Blocks Root should have did it. This way feels a lot less uh, predatory and, and, uh, and grindy. Because if you, you can get one roll and you can kind of get what you want across your entire character. This is perfect. And what else we got here? All right, nothing else. I think the, the last thing that they showed here saved, saved everything for me. I'm going to go over everything real quick. Though, um, like I said, it feels like Blocks Roots, not because of the moves, because the moves are based off the anime. Um, it's just from an artistic and design standpoint, it looks the same, just in my opinion. But um, reworking Dovey 1 and then putting Dovey 2 in the same update, huge W. Blocks Roots still has not reworked their version 1 of their dough. This new event, I don't know what it's about, but new sword looks pretty good. Um, it's a lot different than Cursed Dual Katanas from Blocks Roots. This looks a lot more original. Looks pretty original. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this one. That It just looks good. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Not too many complaints here. I'll be looking forward to this update. This is a pretty good trailer.